All right, what's up, everybody? This is El Gato. El Gato Viejo. Old bastard. He's my buddy. He's so happy to see me. Anyways, let's take a look at some uh, different brick masonry from around the way here. I was out strolling today, getting my little stroll on after riding two hours in the mountains on the mountain bike two days in a row, getting that acclimation to the altitude back spent a couple nights up above 9,000 be back up there within 24 hours probably all right let's take a look at what we got so yeah me and the homie uh he was taking me on a little tour of this old little cabin doesn't even have a driveway or place to park and it's pretty much been abandoned for at least 20 something years some of the locals say 30 so we were sitting up here and man the deck was all creaky and there was so much mouse shit on this like yellow 70s couch i mean it'd be a great little spot man you know just to acquire if there was some way to do it fix it up um and i wouldn't put a driveway in you know I, for me if i lived here it, that's how it would be built only way up is on a dirt bike. If there's snow, you better be skiing or snowmobile or um, mountain bike up that bitch or hike. There won't be a lot of fat people up here, that's for sure. Just some majestic views at the big homies. Fucking Eagle Eye Castle. I mean, there, there's a lot, of, a lot of snow still up there. But I reckon I'll be up summiting this one again here. Trying out this new Hyperlight gear. Yeah, we came across this old... So there's a Pfizer fucking place here, right? And, um... Man, bro. We found this old drum here. It's just, they're, they're saying Monsanto on it, dude. 55-gallon drums of Monsanto, with Monsanto on it. Um, just laying up under the house. So... There's that. I guess I gave away the 20, my 20... If that one particular soul happens to come across this video. Ah, that's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. So here's the couch. You can see the shit. See? And if you look on the floor, I mean, there's millions of pellets. It's fucking gnarly. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even go in there unless I had like a tank and shit with air. Uh, you'd probably have to just blast it out, you know? I don't know. Yeah, sort of just take a little bike ride, you know what I'm saying? Bring you some books with you. Put the phone in the Faraday pouch for a little while. Throw off the those that like to see what someone's doing. <laughs> Don't take the low-hanging fruit. Oh, man. Pump fake. All right, so here's the brick part after my three minutes of ranting. Um, let's take a close look and see how they did things back when. Some of the stamps here, 18... 89 uh, or 81 I think and there's a couple we'll get to take a look at um, there's some longer bricks that are newer and then some more that look maybe more original uh, less damaged and older I mean but there's quite a contrast there and then the one over here with the newer uh, same long bricks same style of masonry with the um, adornments up top as opposed to this which has an, a remnants of black heat residue so probably just from oh, you know climate change all right let's see what's here i'm i haven't been I'm, I look i'm looking at the image before i hit record obviously but i haven't i didn't go through and like trying to set this up or just I just out taking pictures. I was like, hey, maybe they want to see this. So, hmm. The longer bricks, though, guys, the longer bricks go to the top, gets darker, more cooked out, no change happened. I still think it probably was post big wipeout, but um, like somebody was, survived and still had the means and the tech, so they threw these up. Uh, you know, some OG Masons or something, and they threw these up, right? And then the Carrington happened. Like, maybe that was like a 
coordinated attack um, of whatever parasite entity is trying to get, gain control here. Oh, I, I'm glad we looked at this. Look at this layer of wood, y'all. All right. The the foundation or I don't know, whatever. Somebody would know more than me. I'm not a carnal mason type guy. But that's that's pretty cool, man. They don't make it like this anymore. I mean, think how many things this thing's been through, right? And uh, the ones before it probably were even bigger. Well, what it took to bring those down compared to what it would take today. Mother Nature farts and there's going to be a sea of bloated carcasses and pink insulation floating down your interstates. <clears throat> I thought I had a date stamp on one of these that I took. I, I know I have the whole town in my archive somewhere. I just, you know, I don't, I got, Denver's got some really great shit too. I mean, just look at the detail on this. It almost looks like a face perhaps. It's the right eye, like a girl looking right, looking to her left, and you can see the right side of her face. Um, I'm sure somebody's watching that just like, oh yeah. And, um, and then here, here's the best part, the mockery of it all, right? Let's just slap this out there. <laughs> Fucking eye in the sky, right? Um, everything's just so crazy, man. Can you imagine, like, how far down we've come? Oh, my God. Compared to, like, just imagine being left the fuck alone. No third parties. Everybody knows the truth. Free energy. Beautiful buildings. Perfect temperature. Uh, everyone's healthy. They only eat, like, cause very little bit because they're, like, on prana and fucking healthy food they, they grew themselves and with love so it's like more nutrient uh, dense and then you're not all like iodine depleted and jabbed up and fucking missing your fucking your hood on your wang so you're all docile and fucking ready to bow down to your master I'm sorry was that a rant anyways back to your regularly scheduled programming 1911 I love me some 911 I'm sorry. I know it triggers some of you. Looks like they just slapped up the old one, right? <laughs> you imagine John Levi up there with his magnifying glass inspecting the rivets. Well, 9-11. Can't deny it. Fucking what's-his-name did a good video of 9-11. Um, anyways, uh, the 11-9 and, you know, the Berlin Wall coming down. 11-9. So many 11 nines. Annie died 11 nines. So much fucking. I'm an 11 and a 9. Oh man, I love this place. It's like a. I don't know. It's just this Truman show. Just, you know, we just need to get over it and enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Um, try to figure it out. Okay, so we picked the Scooby Doo version of the Similicum ride, right? I don't want the Jesus 6000. That's for the sheep. You know, they're scared. They need to believe in something. That, and outsource everything to a, a mysterious third party and wait on a carnal meat suit to come in the clouds on a wizard magic carpet to rescue them. Um, when the whole thing is like, you wake up in this bitch and you want to wake up the others that maybe need to be woken up or at least given that choice so we can maybe bounce on to the next one. And a lot of others, they want to stay here. The newer souls and baby souls and shit. They got to pay their dues, man. I don't want to move out of here to a better place that I didn't earn. Because then I'll be around a bunch of fakers. And that's already where I'm at now. Because that's who I was before I woke up. I mean, that's just the way it is, dude. I'm not I'm not going to beat around the bush about it. I mean, would you want to be a part of a club? If you're a real OG, and you really love and hate yourself, you know you're the devil and you're God. You know there's good and bad in all of us. And when you finally fucking stare in that mirror and realize that you're the level 10 boss. That at the end of the video game, the level 10 boss is a mirror. And I don't want to go somewhere else, whatever they call it, heaven, wherever. Where I'm around people or entities or oversouls or immortals that didn't deserve to be there. I don't want to, there shouldn't be any clout chasing, sack chasing, betrayal, um, you know, deceit, Tyranny should be loyal, unconditional love, trust, respect. Everything is earned and freely received and freely given. So, if, if that's where I can get to, then 
allow me, please, the opportunity to prove myself worthy of that place. And do not let me go near it a second too soon. And I said it before. The big source that's in charge here, if you even one of his angels, closest right hand man, that mediates between us and the affairs of the peons, us and, and him or it or they or them. Well, the message I got was you can't, and, and the feeling I got when I got close and I almost left here, the, the simulacro was out of the meat suit. And it was, you can't even get close, man, unless you're, I mean, your heart against a feather, I mean, multiply that times a million. And that's what it felt like. Like every secret was known. Every, I mean, you're, I was dirty and abominable abomination and wretched still so it's just how it is <laughs> so I don't know we're down here to act and act it out and play the roles I guess that's the message you don't want to shit where you eat right alright y'all 1889 back to the future